How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Grim from the Bug Out Boys, and welcome to another bot. And this bot is titled, Stay in Shape. You see in the, in the bug out, prepper, survivalist community, I see tons of posts about what the best gear is to have or what the best technique or skills to learn are. But I rarely ever see any posts about being healthy and staying in shape. And I wanna bring that to your attention because it doesn't matter if you have the best gear in the world or your skills are honed to a razor's edge. If you can't get yourself and your gear to where you need to go, it's a moot point. And you're not gonna be able to count on your normal modes of transportation. The only mode of transportation that you can really truly count on is yourself, your good two legs. And if your body is not up to that task, well then you're putting yourself and others that are counting on you at risk, and, and we don't want that. So how do we improve? Now I'm gonna use myself as an example. I, I like to think that I'm in decent shape. I try to work out multiple times a week, emphasis on try. I hike throughout the year, and of course I have my bug out adventures, and I will fully admit that when I come back from them, I'm sore. And when I'm out there, I get tired, I get gassed going up some steep inclines and doing some work, and in the back of my head, I'm thinking to myself, I could be a bit better. And I'm, that's what I'm trying to impart on you, how we can be a bit better and improve ourselves and to stay in shape. Now, if you have a gym membership and you use it, good on you. You're already ahead of the game. But there are people out there that don't like the gym. They don't like the environment, too, much, too costly, or they don't have the time. And that's okay. Because I work out at home. And the three exercises that I love to do, that I think you should do as well, is gonna be your push-ups, your pull-ups, and your squats. And the great thing about these exercises is that you, you don't need a bench you don't need any fancy equipment. You're just using your body weight at first. All you're gonna need is a pull-up bar, and that's very inexpensive. And you can start slow, and you're in your comfy, wonderful home environment. And then as you progress and you need a little bit extra weight, take your Jansport whatever backpack from days gone by and throw some weight in there. That could be your conventional weights if you wanna buy some, or most people have a gallon of something in their fridge. Well, when that gallon is empty, fill it with water, seal it up, and a gallon of water is nine pounds. Put two of those in your backpack and a nice extra 18 pounds in your back and do a pull up. Trust me, it makes a difference. And so you can slowly build yourself up. And it's a full body workout, really. Legs, chest, back, you got it going on. Now, when do you do them? Well, let's be honest. We all enjoy watching TV. You can exercise during the commercial breaks. Do whatever exercise that you choose, spread it out, do them during the commercial breaks. When the show comes back on, watch it. That'll be your rest period. Commercial comes back on again, do some more. And you'll be very surprised on how many reps you can do during a given 30 or 45 minute long show. And then for all the non-commercial things like your YouTubes and your Hulus and Netflix and Amazons, you know where the commercials are. They're still there. Just pause it. That's the great thing about those. Just pause it, do your quick little workout, go back to it. Watch a little bit, and when that you see that flicker again, do it again. You'll be very, you'll, you'll feel good about yourself in the end, that you are improving yourself. And that is the point because you do this, you get healthier, you stay healthier, and then you will be able to get yourself and your gear to where you need to go when that disaster event happens. And that's what matters. So I hope you enjoyed this bot. If you did, please do subscribe because there's gonna be more bots, reviews, pioneer preps, and bug out boy adventures along the way. And if you have any questions or comments, or actually if you have your own nifty exercise that you have come up with, leave those down below because I'd love to read them because if you don't like the exercise that I've provided, maybe somebody has one that works better for them because we're all different. We all have different uh, body shapes and sizes. And I, I love to hear it. And let's, let's all improve. Until then, take care.